Hi, my name is Dorof Nawaita. Assalamualaikum, my name is Alia. Hi, my name is Sabrina. Hi, my name is Aina Saida. Attach the LED to the breadboard and for your resistor, we will pair by each LED, red, green and blue. The green LED to D1 and grounding pin and the blue LED to D3 and grounding and the red LED will connect it to D0 and grounding pin. Then the ultrasonic sensor have 4 channels from VCC to VIN, trick to D7, echo to D8 and grounding to grounding. First, attach the not MCU controller to the breadboard, then pin from G and D to negative and VCC to positive. Secondly, for a 5V relay module, have three channels from G and D to G and D, VCC to VIN, and IN1 to RX3. Thirdly, for float sensor, pin to D5 and G and D. Lastly, connect to D6 and GND for buzzer. Now, I will explain about the interface for our IoT project. For the website dashboard, we will need two components over here. One is for the water level or the flood detection and another one is for the flood alert. For the flood alert, it will turn to red when the buzzer buzz. So now, we will do the demo. Now, we will see the mobile interface. So right now, the water is pouring in the container. Flood alert turns to red because it has reached the maximum level. After that, user will receive a notification that is sent to their email. User also will receive a notification in their apps. Now let's look at the Firebase real time database. This is where the data will be stored when it is pushed from the Arduino IDE. Uh, the value of the LED status, the LED, connectivity, the LED, events, and water level. And then the value of the ultrasonic and the flood switch sensor also will be stored here. Um, this is where the data is stored in the real-time database. 